<laughs> go USA, man. We have a bald eagle out here. Oh. Oh my gosh, we have a bald eagle out here. <laughs> Go USA, man. We have a bald eagle out here. Okay, I have seen a bald eagle on the side of the road uh, down at Williams before. And out near Lake Mary, I've seen a bald eagle out there when I, when I lived in Flagstaff years and years ago. But uh, it's out here. It just flew over my property. It is out here. I'm going to be on the lookout for this bald eagle. It, it, it's, I guarantee you, it is out here hunting. I doubt it flew 30 miles up here. So cool. Oh my gosh, that gave me goosebumps. Okay, <laughs> another new animal I'm on the lookout for. There is so much wildlife out here, I can't get over it. I found some really cool tracks amongst my dog's tracks right here. And I have found them all over the property, or all over the camp. This is a cat. And the paw is too big to be a house cat. And with the amount of uh, extra fur around here that, that mash that down, I would say these tracks are from a bobcat. So you can clearly see them going through right here. And see how much wider of an area gets flattened down than than a dog track like Scout or like a canine track. So I know that they're definitely not coyote tracks. I have followed them all over the yard. So they, right here is a great track. You can really see it. You can see the pads well-defined. There are no claws sticking out and see the, the little humps here. One, two, three. It makes the shape of an M. That's a cat track. Also, I found some over here in the driveway that lead all the way out to the road. So right here are some more tracks. It was walking around the cars. Here's some more tracks. And here's some more. So basically, it, I followed these tracks and they go all the way down to the road and then they basically cross over to the middle of the road onto one of the tire tracks and then they just go down the road that way and my neighbor has already drove by this morning so that pretty much erased the tracks once the cat got to the road but it looks like it came from the road these tracks were quite a bit bigger than the ones that i found uh, a couple of weeks ago in the mud looking over the whole property for more of those cat tracks i found some right here over to Aja's. it went all the way through uh went through camp right here so there's several of them like right here it's got the well-defined m and of course there's no there's no claws and it's just a much wider area flattened out which would be from all the extra fur around the around the claws or i mean around the paws there's always extra fur especially with like a bobcat i'm pretty sure that's what this is is a bobcat so let's look over here see if we see more tracks yeah right here oh yeah here we go this is probably the best track yet look this is two tracks overlap but do you see the m that's very clear to find that is a that is a cat track summer of 2021 they released a number of mexican gray wolves um in new mexico right just right over the border from arizona and less than 30 days later one of them was sighted right in right around uh mount humphreys near not near the summit but right around the san francisco peaks there so in less than 30 days that cut that wolf traveled hundreds of miles and ended up 28 miles from my homestead a wolf now they ended up recapturing it but that's only because somebody saw it yeah they're gonna end up back here you know 
less than what 20 26 miles from here we have black bear you know we're they're at six to eight thousand feet or i mean they're at that seven to eight thousand feet um we're at six thousand you know it's not un, it wouldn't be unheard of for one to make its way over here you know this place is still wild and especially right now in the winter time with everybody being gone and most of our neighbors we're talking not just you know my neighbors here on the 80 acres but neighbors in this entire area a lot of people just are not here for the winter and um the wildlife hasn't left <laughs> it hasn't taken a break and there's more there is just more wildlife there are more coyotes now there are more rabbits there are more birds there are more birds of prey there are more hawks there's more peregrine falcons there's just more of everything because of all the extra moisture we've had for the last year and a half and i don't see that slowing down you know now you know now we've got bobcat here too so you can't build fences to keep that wildlife out you just can't well i've been following these bobcat tracks now for a little over a mile well, you know, now that I think about it, the last snowstorm, I saw tracks just like that. And I brushed over them so quickly, I didn't take the time to identify that they were from a cat. I just kept assuming it was a large coyote, but I think this is the third time I've seen these tracks in the last month. So for those wondering what I do carry all the time, I carry a nine millimeter. Right now it's dirty. I'm not gonna let my dogs or my wife get hurt. Or be scared. Okay, I found a spot here with a number of tracks that are all in one area so we can see them, okay? So these are the coyote tracks. You can see how their feet go in. Okay, these are scouts tracks. You can see how much bigger they are. These are the bobcat tracks. You can clearly see how these are just completely different than those other types. So I picked up the tracks again leads out to the road here i'm going to see if there's any spot where i can pick up the tracks across the road or if this thing walked down the road wow so this is what our road looks like it is completely trashed i mean completely trashed i had to follow two different sets of tracks but I found here where the, this is where the bobcat came onto the property. This is our, this is our border road right here. This is where it walked down to Aja's. Probably did a mile and a half loop, but it, it kind of went onto our property and then off and then came back on again. All right, let's watch how crazy Scout is for snow. Look, ski, hey. So if you just if you just kick snow at her, she loves it. <laughs> give it, give, it, give, it, give, it, give, it. get the snow, get the snow, baby, give, get the snow, get the snow. <laughs> Do you like the snow? Is there maybe a chance that you like the snow? Huh? Do you, Do you like the snow? Do you like the snow? <laughs> Do you like to eat the snow? <laughs> you like the snow, don't you? <laughs> you crazy girl. <laughs> so check this out. This is the first snowstorm after that big three-day snowstorm. And you remember the beginning of that three-day snowstorm was storm number eight. So now we're on storm number 11 for the season, which is crazy to think about. So our five-day total for that snowfall for the three days plus the day off and then today, 22 inches of snow. Geek. 22 inches of snow have fallen. It's a little more powdery. You can see how it's still, it doesn't want to crush up quite as, as much. It's a little powdery than the other stuff, but it's still, it's still not the true Arizona powder, that dry powder snow, but um, we definitely had some blowing snow last night, you can see. We still had about four inches of snow, four to five inches of snow on the ground that wasn't melted from yesterday. So now this is piled on top of that. All right, got the car cleared off. Look how much is starting to pile up around everything. So our temps for the next like week and a half are gonna be just 
maybe at freezing or one degree or two degrees above during the day and then single digits at night. So all of this is gonna freeze up solid and it's not gonna melt off anytime soon. Okay, me and Scout are in the car. Got everything all warmed up. She's ready to go. We're ready to rock and roll here. So if you're wondering what that noise is, this thing has air suspension, it's automatic. So as soon as you move the car, it automatically starts adjusting. All right, let's drive on over and check this out. So it's about four o'clock. Definitely stopped snowing. Snow's done for the day. Done for this storm. So tonight, we're supposed to get down to, I think five degrees. Yesterday, I should have filmed it. She laid in the snow for like three hours chewing on that bone. Look, she really doesn't care about the snow. <laughs> this dog is definitely half Rottweiler. So that is a cow shoulder. From uh, sweeping all the snow off the top of the RV, look how much is starting to build up around the outside. Getting some pretty good, uh, getting some pretty good snow drifts here. Look at this. <laughs> There's a lot of snow in the driveway. Look at all the snow piled up around the RV. All that snow is packed because it's come off the roof. So it's gonna be here for a little while. This stuff's pretty solid. Look at that. <laughs> That's a big, big block of snow. Look at the jacuzzi tub. <laughs> Look at these patterns in the snow. Isn't that beautiful? Look at those waves. Man, nature is so impressive. <laughs> 